Hello everybody, this is SharpTail117 here to do another review, my first review actually on a Halo Mega Box set. Sorry I do not have the box for this because it is an old set, at least for me, and I got it for my birthday last year. And I need my dad threw away the box. But here's my first review. It is the EVA's last stand. Um, the EVA is up on the turret. Right there. Let's zoom in. Oh, oopsies. And eight. Never mind. There we go. There's the EVA right there. And as you can see, it comes with a Warthog. A battle damaged Warthog. And two Hunters. There's the first Hunter. There's the second over there. And it comes with a turret and a black assault rifle. So overall, I think this is a great set. And let's go to the main figure. I put the EVA on this turret, so let's just take him off. One sec. So, let's try to get him in some more detail. The detailing on this new figure is just amazing. And I like it a bunch. Just look on the detailing on the back and on the arms. You can't see the detailing that much on him, but it's still great detail. And he comes with a black assault rifle. Hello. Which everyone has seen one of these before. Obviously, probably has one if you're. Oops, dropped it. If you have, if you're a Halo collector, you already yeah, probably have one of these. It's a nice gun. Yeah. So, um, I count this as a minifigure because it comes with the set. This is the Hunter. It is actually built in a bunch of individual pieces instead of one giant piece. The shield is great. Uh, nice detail on the shield. And this one, the new one, is more game accurate than the old purple one that there used to be. The cannon's better. The color is more accurate. Uh, it's just more accurate. And overall, it's great new style for the Great detail. Sorry, there's bad lighting. Maybe if I open the shades. I'll be right back. Focusing on the set, it's focusing on the background. Um, none of this stuff is working. Sorry, guys. This is really bad, really bad, bad, bad. Too much. Um. Oh, 
okay to play this. Yeah, I think that's too much. <sighs> I'm really sorry about this. I should do this before the view. view. How long now? This is probably it. it. Yeah, that's okay. I guess that's okay. Now let's go into the warthog itself. It's in the new design type of warthog with the new type of turret. Comes with the chain, grenade, belt. The turret rotates. The turret comes off. Yeah, actually, um, the new one is way better because it can swivel and do all sorts of stuff. There we go. And the Warthog's battle damage detail is just great. Look at all the broken chair. Oops, too much soon. Um, the detailing on the glass. Inside the new chairs. The back is new. Just everything on this is new. Yeah, so it's a great set. Overall, I give it out a uh, 10 out of 10. And I hope you get this set. It, I believe it is 20 US dollars. But if you watch this video right now, it I don't think. I sell it anymore. I haven't found it in stores yet, but I kind of found it at Walmart only once before. And this is a great set. I hope you buy it. And Sharptail117 signing out. Hello, everybody. This is Sharptail117 doing yet again his second review. This is my second review. It is on, it is on set 96. Nine three one ODST ambush. Okay, first thing, I do have the box this time because it's a newer set for me. So I have the box to do it, and I have everything right here. So it comes with stickers, obviously. Every set probably comes with stickers. It comes with a Halo Mega Blocks add. Thingy. We want you here. We want to hear from you. Join the Halo Mega Brox Brigade today. And it has some guys on there. And a bunch of information. And here's the instruction manual. It's the same thing as the box. And it has 11 pages in 10 steps. And here's the back. Let's go on to the box. Okay, first the box says Halo Mega Blocks, the Authentic Collector Series, Master Chief, the 10 years um, knit. Tells you what it comes with. It says it comes with the, that's what it comes with, set 5 in the series. Set 69 pieces, 8 plus, set number, ODST Ambush. Now, the side says Halo, ODST, Mega Block symbol, the code, and a Master Chief helmet. Now, the top says Mega Blocks, has the two minifigs, and the Halo. And now for the back, it has the little project art. Has the art. Has other sets. The EVA's last stand, set 96937. The um, New Covenant Banshee set, 96859. And the UNSC um, 
troop set. 96946. And the... It comes with an ODST Urban Specialist, right there, and a Jump Pack Brute, right there. You're going to see Intel. Now it says, OB ODST Ambush. On the outskirts of the ruined city, the ODST Urban, Spe Ur Urban Specialist has spotted a Jump Pack Brute on patrol using a new SMG with silencer. The ODST prepares an ambush, ho hoping to catch the brute off guard before it can escape. So, pretty good Xbox 360, all this crap. Mega box bottom, not really cool or anything. But the box is old news. Let's go on to the very nice detailed cheap set. It goes for around 12 US dollars and is just an amazing set with the new ODST Urban Specialist. It's just fantastic. Let's get a close up of him. I like him. And the brute is amazing too. Okay, now on to the minifigures. Oh, crap. Let's fix this. Now on to the minifigures. First, we'll do the ODST Urban Specialist. Okay, the Urban Specialist just has great detail. I like the new cyan color for the ODST. It just has amazing detail on him. The belt, the shoulders, the arms, like the camo color or something. The feet, legs, the back is amazing as well. With the little grenade belt or something. It's just an amazing figure overall. I just really like the ODSDs. I only have two of them though. But it's a great figure. Now, let's get in more detailed with the new SMG. The new SMG has a silencer on it. It's smaller and has a smaller clip. Look at that. Now, it's not the giant clip that we all hate and gets in the way. I kind of like it that way, but the new grip, it's not as good as the older one because it doesn't really, you can't really hold on it. I've never tried holding it, so let's try. See, it doesn't hold on. But that's the only downside about it. So let's put him back over there. Now, the Jump Pack Brute comes with his own little stand. And let's just take him off. Oh, next. There's a hole in the Jump Pack Brute's backpack. If you can see that, and it clicks right into the display rod. Okay, back onto the brute. Let's take off his weapons. His jetpack, let's go into the jetpack. Okay, the jetpack, the jump pack, whatever you want to call it. It's just amazing. This set just has amazing detail. Peg on the back. Look at the detail, just look at the detail of this set this little jump pack has. It's just amazingly well done detail. Four little dots. Those aren't dots. But it's just amazing. Now the new jump pack brew is what caught my eye. This is an amazing figure. Look at the eyes. You can see the eyes glow. He's watching you. And look at the shoulders, just the amazing detail, look at that. They just put amazing detail and effort, effort, into this, in the jetpack. Look at the back, too. Just look at the detail. I know. It's amazing. You put the figure right there, I mean the backpack, and you're ready to go kill some UNSC. But first you need weapons. This might not be the right one, but I tried my best to get the right needle 
spiker. But this is the one I could find. It's just a regular spiker. The new weapon I'm overly excited about is the spike grenade. This thing is so freaking cool. Look at this thing. And it can grip, be gripped by anything. And I, it just has, well, I can't say amazing detail, but it, all the detail it has, like, look, this built silver spikes. It's a well done paint job. So I'm going to give Mega Blocks that. It's a good paint job. Okay. Um. Now on to the actual set. Let's get up here. I'm going to do some personal. Oh, maybe not. Okay. So, this is a great set. There's great detail down to the keypads, but this is all sticker. And burns. More burns. UNSC Recruiting Center. Little rhubarb. If I'm pronouncing it right. Little base plate with some rubble. Nothing much from the back. Oh, focus. Um, not really much. Great detail on these. Oopsies, what's going on here? This one is loose. One sec. There we go. This was loose. The top was loose. So, even on the top, just amazing detail. Sides. Can't pick it up. There's little stickers on there. Not much of the set, it's just a little scenery piece. But overall, this is a great set. I give it 9 out of 10 just because... It, I just... I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Because I actually didn't... I thought it came with the little face on it. And the ODSD Specialist... Has a floppy arm. His arm is floppy. Right here. Floppy. Floppy. So I'm mad about that, but you can't be that mad. It's. Yeah. But it's a good set overall. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Sharptail117 signing out. Hello everybody, this is Sharptail116, is that Master Chief's number? I don't, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah it is. Um, doing another review, I think this is my third, on the Covenant Banshee set. Now, I got mad because, let's take a look at the, that guy on the box. Look at him. Oh, look at that crimson-y color. It's so cool and shiny. And then you get your hopes up and they give you this crappy, not all the way crappy. They give you this guy. And I am just got mad about that. But the Banshee is pretty cool. I messed up on it. I'm a freaking fail on the stickers. And obviously, I messed up those. You can see all that? That's what they're supposed to look like. That looks nothing like them. So, you gotta look out for that. For some reason, there's a bunch of extra stickers. And I got all the stickers. Uh, so, this set is good. I got the box this time because it's a newer set. For me, at least. Got it for Christmas, not my birthday. Okay, here's the sheet. Or instruction manual. Here's my instruction manual. 
And just like the box, cool epic mock. Has at least 11 pages, just like the other one, but 13 steps instead of the ODSD ambush. So on the back, other sets. And if you want me to name them, I'll make another video on naming them. But you probably know what they are. Comes with the ad. If you don't know what the ad is, go click the other video. It'll be right there in the annotation. Um, so now, it comes with stickers. Stickers, everyone. And I think I got extras, as you can see. Extra stickers. I wonder how that could be. Okay, not, not what we want to go for right now. So, let's go onto the box. Okay, here's the box. As you can see, it has 97 pieces. 8 plus, set 9, 6, 8, 5, 9, set Covenant Banshee, it doesn't have the series number, Mega Blocks, Spartan on the left, oh, it's on the left, I forgot, sorry, set 19, and it comes with the two stuff, it comes with the Spartan, Halo, the Authentic Collector series, no, Mega Blocks is down there, and out above it, like on that set, okay, the bottom the side says set 19 master chief or just a spartan this is halo same with the other side actually the other side has this code or something now the top has the two the minifigure and the minifigure it comes with is a Crimson Covenant Pilot. The other says, I'm just gonna name him. Um, Wraith, um, Arctic Hog, Short Sword, uh, Wolverine, Mongoose, Wraith, I already said Wraith, Pelican. Okay, it says over here, Covenant Banshee. The Banshee is the main aerial assault craft of the Covenant forces, and every UNSC Marine fears the wailing sound of the incoming Banshee flyer. Banshees are armed with twin plasma cannons and the devastating fuel rod cannon used to the ground bombardment. Collect them all. And the cockpit opens and shows right there. Let's put the box back over there. And on to the minifig. Comes with a plasma pistol. Nothing new about it. It's always been that way. It's always been a plasma pistol. Now the main thing I want to show you is the new highly detailed elite. The only thing I'm mad is it isn't as crimson as it is on the box. Nothing is as it is on the box, but I got excited for that. I like the arming detail. Just look at the detail spot. Crimson. I just really like this guy. No peg hole. Sadly. I wish they made the peg holes for every elite. So, I'm not going to go that highly detailed, but I like the chest. Okay. Now on to the main only vehicle of this set the Covenant Banshee yeah. okay the Covenant Banshee that there. No distractions. is pretty much the only flying ship that they've made so far the Covenant I believe oopsies um, it has a lot of stickers, thrusters, two pieces. It's not focusing.
There we go. So, cockpit opens, little mirror there, um, front view, laser cannons, uh, lights, areas to hold on to. It's just a good detailed set. So, overall, I give this set a 9 out of 10 just because of the Covenant guy over there, the pilot. And the weapons, I give one out of two. Just because it's just a tiny plasma pistol. They could have made a needler and given to them. But it's a good set, so I recommend it a lot because it's a new set. Well, not for me, it's old. And if you can find it, pick it up if you have the money. This is um, Shark Claw, one, Shark Tail, sorry. 117 signing out.